Good morning. It's Sleepy Face Morgan here. It's actually nine o'clock now and I'm waiting for my breakfast to be delivered. Jump cut to Morgan yesterday saying he wasn't gonna do this again. But drunk Morgan last night thought it was a good idea. So here we are. And I ordered it to be delivered between 8.45 and nine. I actually woke up at like 8.37. So my timing was great. And I kind of need to use the bathroom. I actually don't kind of need to use the bathroom. I definitely do but i don't want to go in there because i don't want to be in there when they show up so just kind of waiting and i ordered exactly the same thing that i ordered yesterday so it's not really going to be that exciting but i think i'm going to enjoy it out on the balcony that makes this cruise different than the last two that I did, which were both with TUI Mindshift, is that there are actually excursions available. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but that is the only way that you can leave the ship during the cruise is with an official excursion. They're very strict about it. And if you stray from the group, they will deny you entry back onto the ship and they've done it already. So. Not, not to me, obviously, but they've, I've read that they've done it to other people. So they are not effing around here on MSC. And I wasn't originally planning to do any excursions, but now that I'm here on board and yeah, and see that the weather's actually really nice. And my neighbor, the very successful German YouTuber, Matthias Moore, he did a bicycle tour yesterday, two days ago, and said it was really cool. So I'm gonna go see if there's a bicycle tour offered for one of the ports coming up. Come on, let's go look. hair Morgan. I just took off my hat and just wanted to let the beautiful sea air grace my hair. Well, aren't I feeling dramatic? Okay, so here's the information I got about the bike tours. These are the two that would still be available to me. One of them is in Genoa and the other one's in Chavichava, Chewbacca. This would be the one for people who had never been to Rome. This sounds like a really cool thing, but I'm just not up for spending, you know, like three hours in a coach bus and then the, yeah, that's going to be too much for me. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this one. And it sounds interesting. And it says here that uh, it's available for guests in transit in Genoa Port. That's me. Guests will cycle for a total of 27 kilometers, including uphill routes. Children who are at least 155 centimeters tall, which is good. I'm 165. So I just made it. Um, are welcome to take part. 
And this is something that confuses me. It says guests must wear the mask throughout the excursion. And I'm wondering if that means we also have to wear it while we're on the bike. Oh, well, I guess I'll find out. So the biking tours are booked from like a separate counter. And when I went there today, they said the woman who was there was only doing everything else but the biking tours. I didn't exactly understand, but she said, come back at six tonight and then I can book the biking tour. So that's what I will do. And now it's probably like 78 degrees outside. So maybe 24, 25. It's beautiful out there. I'm gonna go out and enjoy that balcony and send you all some fantastic sunny rays. I'm gonna answer some Instagram questions and then I'm probably going to take a nap. It's that time of the night where it's really dark and even though I've got all the lights on It's still really hard to film I booked my bicycle excursion Here is the ticket and I wanted to look at the menu for the MDR tonight Let's try to get it up on the television I have to say, compared to the interactive TV on, you know what, basically every other cruise I've ever been on. The MSC one is a little bit difficult to, excuse me, navigate. I don't remember how. Jeez, isn't this exciting to watch? Hold on, let me try to figure this out. Five minutes later, I couldn't get it to work. So now I'm gonna look in the app and I can't show it to you because it's on my telephone. Why don't I stand here where at least you've got the beautiful sunset behind me and it really is beautiful. You know, sometimes, beautiful sunsets is because of like the clouds get all colorful but you know a cloudless sunset can also be pretty nice i checked out the menu for the mdr tonight there's only one vegetarian entree and it's tofu bites on uh, veggies which sounds good but i don't think i'm gonna go through the whole thing i don't know i'm just kind of not in the mood for that tonight so i think i'm gonna go up to the buffet anyways even though Tofu bites does sound good, and I'll probably end up just eating pizza and a salad again, but not every meal can be as good as, you know, like eating at Spago. What's another like really famous expensive restaurant? Olive Garden? And the pizza and salad is good. It's just how much pizza and salad can you eat? If it was nachos, it would be a different story. And actually, in the app, I looked at the menu for dinner for in a couple nights, and they do have, they're offering like a Mexican night, so definitely we'll be going there on that night. But for now, I'm gonna put on just a little bit nicer clothes and head up to the buffet to eat this. Here's the big dinner reveal. Two pieces of pizza, one with only cheese and one with only sauce. I thought, you know, mix it up. Maybe I'll flip them on top of each other and make a pizza sandwich. Then I got some rosemary potatoes again, which I'm definitely gonna be dipping in that pizza. Another little mixed salad. And then just got one piece of cake. And that's dinner for tonight. They actually only have a really small area of the buffet open at all. So, you know, the buffet is like all one long stretch and it's not even halfway down and then it ends. So that's what it's like tonight. Do you hear the volume level of this woman having a FaceTime conversation over here? She's probably 10 meters away from me. And I can understand, well, if I could understand Italian, I would understand everything she's saying and the person who she's screaming at on the telephone. The loud lady is gone. And I went back and got a little fruit cup here just to have some more healthy food. You know, at least some fresh stuff here. And voila, here we are back in the strangely lit cabin. Altogether, I have to say, I feel like this cabin is kind of dark and the ceiling 
is low. Like, you guys know I'm a short guy. And look, I can touch the ceiling. So, I don't know, you know, now that I'm talking about it, I can't tell you if cruise ship cabins are normally this small or not. I definitely can't remember that I've touched the ceiling in a cabin before, but that doesn't mean that I haven't. And I've decided that I'm gonna do something totally rebellious and not go out again tonight. The show that's on in the main theater is the show that I saw yesterday, and it was really good, but I don't, I don't need to see it again. There is the same band playing in the Cirque du Soleil theater. I don't necessarily need to see that again. Doesn't mean they weren't good. I'm just thinking that I'm gonna, yeah, sit here and do some editing and sorting of footage to make things a little easier when I get back home. And the internet is actually fast enough to watch YouTube videos. They stop and start and stop and start. But so I might just relax and catch up on some of the YouTube channels that I like to watch. And who says that just because I'm on a ship, even if I don't really feel like it, that like I have to go out and go get a drink and mix around with the people. You don't have to, do you? I say no. And I've been getting so many comments and questions in my Instagram stories, which is something I really enjoy. So if you don't have an Instagram or don't follow me on Instagram, consider it. We have a lot of fun over there. And uh, like I said, when I'm traveling then, Instagram is the place where you can get the biggest quantity of live updates of like, where I am right now, what I'm doing right now, what my food looks like, you know, and I do fun things too. Like last night, I did a little fashion show and I had fun doing that. So yeah, if you don't have Instagram, consider getting one and following me there because it's different than Facebook and what I do here. Whatever you did today, whatever you're doing later today, I hope you have a great time. Even if like me, it's just relaxing, doing a little bit of work on the side and watching YouTube videos, like you're doing right now, actually, if you're listening to me say this. When you have thinning hair like I do, and you've got light coming right from the top, it looks even thinner and it's not cute. There, that's a good angle. I'm just gonna stay like this the whole time. Anyways, I'm blabbering. Good night.